All right, what's up, everybody? We are back with some live streaming, playing some Forza Horizon 4. Patiently waiting for Horizon 5 to drop. Uh, is it ever going to drop? I don't know. I'm hoping so. I am hoping so. Uh, let me just move this fan because it's probably irritating the mic quite a bit. Yeah, it is. All right, and as per usual on the Daw Smoke slash Brash Media channel, I have no, absolutely zero uh, capture card. I forgot what I was going to say there for a sec. I have absolutely zero capture card. Um, so this is being ran off Xbox console companion. Hopefully it is smooth enough for now. Um, I will be getting a new SIM set up soon. I used to have the Logitech G920, but uh, it broke, and it broke hard. So, we don't have that anymore. I'm looking at getting the new Logitech G923, um, so that would be super deadly. Um, I actually, in real life, I would never own a Subaru because of the uh, boxer engine under the hood, but they look pretty and they sound good. So, I'm going to go listen for some blow-off noises in my Hawkeye. Because this car sounds phenomenal in this game. Um, but yeah, more sim content coming soon. I also got a Canon M50, so you can use that as a webcam. Although, for some reason, it keeps connecting and disconnecting every two seconds on my PC. Uh, I think my PC just hates uh, cameras. My Logitech C920 camera doesn't really work this one doesn't really work but hey what are you gonna do what's up king bing how's it going quite the name you got there all right let's get some driving in us bear with me guys i haven't played forza horizon on a controller since forza horizon the original one number one numero uno um, that was the last time I played Horizon on a controller. Since Horizon 3, or, no, no, I, I didn't play too much of Horizon 2. But every other Horizon since the first one I've been playing on simulator. So, it's my first time back on controller since the wheel is broken. Let's see what we got. It's probably going to be pretty bad, to be honest. I never play with controller, let alone on a, on this. So, Oh, man, the controls are all messed up here. Nope, that's not what I wanted to do. I'm trying I'm trying to change my view and I'm so used to all the mapped out buttons on the sim wheel. I have no idea what they are for controller. <laughs> oh, back out of the garage. Back out of the garage. All right, I'm trying to get my headset dialed in right here. Um let me just see what these controller blinds are, because this is whack. Controller settings, okay. E-brake is A. Uh, how's, how do you change view? What the? What? All right, well. Oh my god, it's right bumper. Whatever, let's get driving here. Woo! We out here just cruising today, guys. We're just enjoying the vibes, enjoying the blow off that this Subi makes. Whoa, whoa, whoa. The brake the brakes like lock up as soon as you hit them on controller. Yeah, why do they lock up so easy? Oh, 
Oh man, I'm legit better at this game on wheel than I am on controller. That's crazy. Oh, 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 oh. I'm wrecking some farmer's field out here. He ain't gonna be having it with me. Yeah, my brakes lock up as soon as I hit them, and since I'm in manual with clutch, it makes the car obviously stall. Oh my goodness. I cannot drive on controller, man. Another Hawkeye, what's up? Man, this thing revs out to about 9k, that's wild. Yeah, the sounds that this thing makes is hard to beat. Hard to beat, boys. Maybe we should do like a build or something. See what kind of cars we got here. I want to see if I can change that braking force or something because it just locks up right away. Locks right up. Advance. Um. Deceleration. I'm going to reset these to default under the controller side. I feel like they're already on default. <laughs> Wait, no, hold on. I didn't really want to do that, though, because I don't want vibrations on. Weird. That's weird. Let me see if braking's any better, even though I don't think it changed. It might just be that this car has two good brakes, but... I'm Well, dude, they lock up when my trigger's like pulled halfway in. Yeah, that's whack, man. I don't know how to change that. Deceleration. Oh, let me turn this down to like fucking 45 or something. See if that makes a difference. No, gee, damn it, man. No, they still lock up instantaneously. Why does this happen? Why does this happen? I'm I'm gonna fucking I'm putting these both on zero, dude. It better change. <laughs> something better change. If it's they're both on zero from what they were set at, something better change. Nothing changes. Nothing changes. Okay, that's I'm putting them both at a hundred. We gotta see if this makes any difference or if this game is just fucking with us. I'm putting these both at, there you go, whatever the max they can go is 80, 100. Let's see. It does nothing, man. It still breaks, like, as soon as, I think something's broken with Forza, dude. <laughs> I had them both on zero, both fully maxed out, both set to default, and nothing changes. Straight up, nothing changes. Now they're set back to normal, and it's gonna be the same old story. I just we're gonna, I guess we're just gonna have to get used to it. I mean, I don't know what else to do. We just need to drive at this point.
Oh yeah, we out here flying now. So yeah, my brakes are just gonna lock up non-stop, but I guess we're gonna have to live with that. it boys <laughs> all right all right all right let's hop in something else let's switch it up a bit let's see what we're feeling um let's start from back to front here any volvos out there maybe i know those make good turbo noises good old turbski sounds and whatnot uh supra that's a little bit out of our comfort zone for controller carrera gt man these porsches scream uh, let's see here. All the Nissan, dude. All of the Nissan. I think, I just so think we need to take a rip in an R33. It's my favorite Skyline. R33, baby. R33 or bust! Which is great. You can't really go wrong with one. I love them. For a real burnout. Oh, this one doesn't stop nearly as hard. Oh, I guess it still does. Alright, we out here cruising. We're chilling. Look at how beautiful this game is, though, man. They got the, the scenery on point. Going Watt in fourth gear. Oh, 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 oh. RIP R33. tap there little mailbox tap actually yeah man this thing is just so good it looks so good too oh 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 And just the color on this thing, boys, the purple, unreal. Oh, 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 we're going way off course. We've gone way off course. Okay, I think we need to just settle down here and actually just build a car. So, let's drop it down. We're going we're gonna to go on a drive first, but let's drop it down to the Horizon Festival in something spectacular here we got to see what we're working what we're working with maybe some good old american v8 just maybe maybe this nova super sport i got done out as my burnout car that thing is absolutely heinous my low rider impala tearing up the streets this thing just does fat skids everywhere my durango srt with Oh, fuck. Toggle stats. Oh, 981 hertz pers. I think we're going to do half the drive in this, man. The big old shagging wagon that obviously makes well over a thousand at the crank. Because what? It makes like 20 off a thousand to all four wheels. So well over a thousand at the crank. Oh, fuck, I don't really... 
I always think rewind is the button that you hit to change views, but it isn't. So it's got it's got the interior. It's got everything. I think we need the inside view for this. See what I mean? I need, I need to Google that, man. It's actually driving me nuts. I'm, I'm Googling why my brake locks up instantly. All right, so basically it's just telling me you need to turn on ABS if you play on controller, which is weird because I never did that in the past and I don't remember having issues with this. Um, but I guess I'm going to ABS on. So hopefully they won't lock up now because that is frustrating. I mean, I guess it's a little better, maybe? Oh my god, this thing's a boat. It's got all the torque in the world, though. It just wants to go. Yeah, man, this thing just wants to hook and buck. <laughs> it is kind of all over the place, though. So with that being said, I am going to go ahead and swap out cars now. Man, it's so much harder to play on controller than wheel for me now. It's actually really weird, but I don't know why the brakes are locking up. That's, that's pretty frustrating, honestly. Just instantly locked up. My trigger's like a quarter depressed, and it just locks up. So we're going to whip the Impala Super Sport. See how spicy we can get it. 33 million total winnings. Jesus. So we can lay some nasty 11s here. Well, that didn't work. Is it because I have ABS on? It's literally because I have ABS. Now that I have ABS on, I can't do a fucking burnout. Oh, boy. We're all over the place without our wheel here. We ain't controller people. That's all I'm saying. Really? Oh, I got slicks on this thing. Oh yeah, this thing's sick, man. But it's all over the road. It's just a big land yacht, big boat. We're cruising it, though. We're cruising it. Sheesh. God damn. Oh, who parked right there? Smoked him. Oh. All right, we're going to switch it up again. I forgot this thing was on slicks, man. Um... Nova Super Sport. Let's get in this one. I don't think this is on slicks. This is my burnout car, so... If we still can't do a burnout in this, I don't know what to say. Kind of looks like it has slicks on it. Yeah. 
Let's be. Oh yeah, this thing's all over the map. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, sheesh, man. Oh, sheesh. We're just cycling through my cars right now. Yeah, I don't know. Playing on controller sucks. Flat and simple, man. It's garbage. Uh, what do we want, though? What do we want? <sighs> what do we want to drive, people? There's people watching, so what do we want to drive here? Put it in the comments. Don't be shy. Let's go. Maybe an NSX. Got two of those. All-wheel drive CRX. Pushing 720 horsepower. Um, BN, my baby in real life. Let's see. Trail Cat. Look at that big beast. Stinger. Not bad. Reventin, man. I'm doing the Reventin. I forgot I own that thing. What? Ooh, ooh. Listen to that thing scream, dude. The thing doesn't handle very well for a Lamborghini, Jesus. What? This thing handles like junk, man. What is that? Understeer in negative two degrees of angle. What the hell? I'm over it, man. What else do we got here that's not junk? Because so far we've just been dealing with a whole lot of junk. We need a cruiser. We need something we can cruise in. Windows down, arm out. What do we got here? Evos and Evos and GTOs and Eclipses. Uh, Three-wheeler. Bunch of, bunch of Nissans. Tons of GTRs. Tons of S chassis. Anything you could want from them, really. Trans Am. Maybe we should whip one of these Porsches. What about this? This new Carrera GT. Let's rip this thing. I gotta tell you though, guys. It is ass playing uh, without a sim wheel. Oh my god, this thing's a floppy dick. Okay, we're gonna do a donut and then we're building the car.
I wonder if there's any MR2s in this game. What's up, bro? Can I join? I would normally say yes, but unfortunately I'm not playing online as I don't have Xbox Live Gold at the moment, so... Shoot. What should we build, though? What should we build? Um... I doubt they've added anything new that you can just buy straight from the garage. Uh... They always like to implement cars now that you have to do a whole lot of work to unlock or spend millions of dollars on the auction house to get them, which is just crazy. Um, but it is what it is. I don't know, guys. What are we thinking? Are we thinking uh, domestic? Are we thinking overseas? A little import action? V8, V6, maybe even a four banger? What are we thinking here? Got a ton of Chevys. Of course. Ton of Dodge. Not as much, actually, but still a good bit. Ton of Ferrari. Tons of Ferraris. <laughs> Holy. Uh, Fords. Good old Ford. GT. That'd be a cool build. Um, little expensive. Little expensive. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What's going on here? We're skipping through Fords for some reason. Some unknown reason. Huh. What do we do? Deluxe 5 window. That thing's bad. The F9 Funko Motorsports. Hennessy Venom GT. Nothing new from Honda. I own every Honda except the downloadable ones and the trophy truck. I don't know. I don't know about trucks in Horizon. I, th I feel like it's more of a car vibe in Horizon. We got Hot Wheels. These weren't here last time. These were not here last time. Ford F5 Dually. Holy. Probably going to ch want to charge you a bunch for that pack, though. Um... Jaguars, eh, not about it. James Bond cars, super weird. Conan Zeg. More Lambos. Huh. Well, what do we want to build? What does everybody want to see? What's everyone here for? Maybe an RX-8? Even though I think these things look atrocious. Absolutely god-awful. Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, McLaren, Mercedes. Sheesh, man. I got all the Mitsus. I got all of them, dude. Love the Bishi. Only old ones, though. Uh, I'm not a fan of really many or any new cars. Except for a couple, and I own one of them. Skyline HT 2000 GTR. Is that seriously the only one Nissan that I don't own other than the Sentra that you have to pay real money for? And this weird looking supercar that I just don't really care to own? It totally is. Well boys, I found our project car. A Skyline 2000 HT? Is that what they call it? Factory colors, slim back in the day, let me tell you. Oh, jeez. I don't know. I think we'll just stick with the white. $170,000. Take my money. Let's see what we got for 170 grand. That monster truck fitment on them steelies. Oof. Oof, oof, oof. You know the ritual. We have to drive it stock before we do any build whatsoever. This thing from the back end looks great. It's got like a factory duck bill. The gas cap's way up high there on the uh, rear quarter panel.
Sounds kind of nasty. Where is the gas fill in the back? Are those just badges on the rear quarters? Why does that sound nasty? Yo, this thing gets down! Yo, this thing gets down, stock. 100% OEM. She doesn't really want to kick it out, but... Let's see if she can get down with the burnout. Mm, kinda. She dies off pretty fast. This thing is wicked cool though, guys. You do not see very many of these around in the game or real. I don't even see in this car ever in my life, I don't think. And it's not a popularly imported car. I feel like there wasn't a whole lot of these made and or there's something about them that's tragic. Like the Ford Pinto will blow you up if you hit it from the rear. I don't know though. I don't know why these aren't more popular. But this thing's nasty in stock form. See what we can do. I don't want to fully max this thing out. I want to have some tastefulness behind this build here. Um, but let's see. Go ahead and take a rip of the Lost Vape Centaurus with the Fire Luke 3 sitting on top with one of their dual mesh coils. Absolutely wicked. We're rocking 160 horse out the gate from 1973. That's insane. That's insane. 160 horse at 2,500 pounds. No wonder, no wonder this thing feels decent. OEM plus. I gotta blow the nose. Pardon me, boys. Oh, that torque's falling off right around 5,000 RPM. It holds out for a decent bit, though. I'm going to go ahead and put an intake on this. We're going to go ahead and do an intake manifold and a carburetor. We're going to give this thing some fuel and some air to breathe. We're going to follow that up with some spark here. So everything's running in unison. The exhaust is kind of nasty, but we're going to make it more nasty. Slam some cams in this unit. We might have to fully max out the engine. Some valves. I don't, I don't know if I want to do like a... A different block like a stroker I guess we're gonna anyways throw some forge rotating assembly bits in there throw some cooling and catching and we'll keep we'll keep the stock heavyweight flywheel but where does that put us 339 horsepower 251 foot-pounds of torque at 2400 pounds we've lost some weight by doing this stuff Insane. We're going to leave the brakes as is, so hopefully they don't lock up. Um, suspension. We're definitely going to need... I'll probably put drift on it. We'll see how we like it. I'm going to leave all this, though. I kind of like the body roll, and it's at a totally fine weight. Doesn't have enough power, really, for a cage. Um, clutch. We should probably throw in a bit better of a clutch here. I'm just going to go ahead and throw in like a cheapo, though, that can handle the power. Trans is totally fine. Um, I don't think we'll need a beefier drive line. We'll do this so we can weld the diff, quote unquote. Um, now what this thing is really in need of. It needs to get off these steelies and on to some wheels. Uh, hold the phone here though. It's no wheels are going to look good unless they're at a decent size for the car. So I'm going to go ahead and run. I don't know actually. I think I'm going to run 17s. 
all the way around. I think that fits the build pretty decently. Let's take a peek. What kind of wheels do we want to rock with? Got to be something good in the mix here. We'll know it when we see it. I feel some Ankies. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We're going to do that, but we're, we're going to need to make this look good before we put wheels on it, because... Oh, man, it's still hovercrafty as shit. Oh, wait, I just put real fat tires on them. I didn't mean to do that, but I probably could get away with some 215s, because... <laughs> We still have 300 plus horsepower. That's what I was meaning to do. We are no longer hovercraft. That camber in the front is insane. Uh, now let's see what wheels. Now everything's starting to come together. We can pick some wheels. Ooh, those look good though. Those look pretty damn good. So do these, man. I love the NT of 3 plus. Those look real nice. Um, we got to keep going through the mix, though. See what's out there. I don't think this car really suits a big, fat dish. Um, but we'll see when we get there. So far, nothing's really popping out at me except for these. Those. Oh, these aren't bad, but kind of looks like a rally car. Some of those. Rotas. Little rep action. See, those look pretty good. That's not that much of a dish, so I wouldn't call that a dish. That's more so a lip. I actually really like that on this car. I really like that. We're, we're going to stick with those. I seen it, and uh, yep, that's it. That's it right there. See what we can do to the body of this thing. We still got hella ground clearance. You have to go ahead and put that front lip up on there. Um, I guess we'll just accentuate the, I don't know the stock wing looks real good uh, I'm still gonna go for that just accentuate it a little bit and obviously we're not engine swapping or anything so that's gonna be the setup people 339 horsepower 100 ish pounds shaved off all the way up to a B class for 45,000 and some change this thing should be fun but first, we need to make it look fun. Paint car. I'm not going to go into in depth with any decals. We're going to go super hella OEM plus. We're going to rock that red on white. I just need to see if there's a better red available for me in here. Ooh. 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 That's it right there. That is it. Well, you know we need to spice it up with the carbon hood. Can't go wrong. Can't paint those, apparently. Can't paint that, apparently. The wheels are already white. They look fantastic. We're going to keep them. And obviously, we're going to have to black out the windows. And that's it, baby. Red on white. Do I have the IROC Camaro? We can take a peek. I might. I might not. Is one of those cars you have to unlock or go to the auction house to buy? Or is it in uh, with every other car that's easy to buy? My cars, let's check out Chev. This is what we got for Chev right here. I do not see an IROC Camaro. I wonder if I can buy one though. View all. Let's go back to Chev. I rock. Where is the I rock hiding? We got a Z28. I don't see an I rock in here. I don't see one. Is this pre recorded? No. No, sir. I don't see an I rock. Auction house, maybe. Let's search. Make Chevy uh, It's probably not even going to tell me that's an IROC Camaro. I probably need to know the year. Yeah, Chevy Camaro.
I don't, I don't even know, man. What year is the IROC in this game? Oh, boom. Eight million dollar buyout. I'd have to drain my bank account for one of these things. <laughs> yeah, that's an unlock car. How do you even unlock it? Right now I'm playing on controller because my wheel sim broke, so I'm waiting on a new one of those. T-boned me, bud. Yeah, this thing's a menace now. I don't know why these things aren't more popular. Stock engine. 340 horse. Oh, oh, oh. Put her into the wall. You know what we could do, though, is we could turbo this thing. Because right now it's all motor making 330 horse on a block from 1970. Oh, oh, way too much speed. What, 50,000 starting price? That's a steal. Is that what the bid started out at? I bet you it'll go up lots more than that, though. How much longer is left on it? Oh, 50 thou highest bid. There's 56 minutes left on it, though. <laughs> oh, shit. Here. Let me bump up the stakes. I'm going to bump it all the way up. Oh, I can't. I have to go increment by increment. Let's put it on 56 and see where it takes us in a little bit. I don't even know if I'll be on in 56 minutes. <laughs> So far, we're winning 6k over highest bid. Mm. 23 hours and 47 minutes, and the bit, it's already maxed out. Well, no bids on either of those. I wonder why. That's a crazy price tag, but I'll take it for 56k if no one else is watching. I'm on it right now. Are you going to steal it from me? Alright, this guy's gonna take the I rock from me. 56 minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and slap some force induction on this thing. Probably turbos. Yin yang, spinny things. All I can do is a single turbo, so there we go. Let's put a bigger turbo. 420 baby we should leave it at that we do gain almost an extra 20 horsepower for letting her cool off the the charged air why not now how much are we going with now we are rocking four almost 440 to the wheels this is block from 1973 that's pushing well over 500 horse to the crank Gabriello Vega. Maybe. He says maybe. We'll have to see about that. I'll be back to upbid this shit in a minute. Right now I'm going to rip this thing. Be doing me dirty if you took it from me, man. Oh yeah, we're sending it. This thing feels good. This guy want to raise? Some rolling anti-leg.
Oh, 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 shoot, shoot. Oh. I'm trying to get one in real life as a project car. That's sweet, man. You should. You should. I got a decent little project car. Import, though, not domestic. Oh, damn. I just peeled the wrap off mine today because wrap is just not it. So we're going to repaint it soon and just finish the engine swap. Man, this game on controller is no good. I miss my sim wheels so bad. This thing's twitchy. It's got so much camber in the front. It just doesn't feel good here. How do I... I gotta tune on the fly. Alright. Tire pressures. Oh my god. Negative 5 degrees. Maxed out camber in the front. I'll leave it at a 1.5 and put the rear to a 0. 0.5. That's better. <laughs> Slammed on its face and we'll quote-unquote lock the diff here there we go they're overpricing them though yeah no fair enough everything's overpriced these days oh 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 Feels a lot more stable already just taking that camber out. It actually takes corners. Wouldn't hurt this car to shed a couple pounds because she is feeling a little heavy. Just a little bit. Might have to put her on a diet. Oh man, understeer city just plowing through the corner there. We are on stock meets. Ooh, 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 ooh. Like I said, my controller driving is not very good. I'm definitely gonna be buying a new sim wheel very soon here because this is this isn't good oh man this thing's just plowing itself through the corners That one wasn't half bad, I guess. Grab third, grab third, come on. Things barely got enough balls to <laughs> spin them in third. Just barely. Oh, oh, oh. We're going right for someone's house. You know, it's a good thing we just destroyed the fences and not the house. Uh, another dude's trying to take it. There's like four people on it. Oh. For the long haul, to be honest. You should snag that one up, though. I mean, check out this beast we're in right now. This all's we need right here. 2000 skyline not the year 2000 the name 2000s watch out jetta i'm going
Zoom, zoom. Oh, damn. You know what? We should hit the highway here and pull out the 1600 horsepower Supra. That's what we should do. That's what I'm going to do. 1600 horse. Loading up. Alright, let's take a peek at what this thing can do. I already know this car is not barely controllable on the sim wheel, so if it's barely controllable on that, it's going to be a lost cause on controller. Oh, it must be on drag slicks because it's going real straight. Yeah, it's on slicks. Jesus. The blow off is wild. It like does blow off valve noises and then it goes straight to compressor surge. How does that work? Oh yeah, this thing's on slicks for sure. For sure, for sure. What did he say? Uh, would be real nice if nobody took it. <laughs> no doubt. I guess you don't own one in the game then already, hey? Oh my god, this thing just freight trains. Oh my god, we're ripping. Oh, oh, oh! We out here smashing everybody. Everybody out here getting in our way. God damn, we're gonna go back here. Someone's spamming me. What's up here? Oh, gotcha. Oh, yeah, see, look at that gloss black on them polished wheels, baby. That's a look. There's a couple just insane looks on a car. Red body, white wheels, insane. Black body, polished, or chrome, insane. I mean, just look. Gloss black, polished wheels, like, goddamn. Those two combos are by far my two most favorite on any car ever. Oh, damn. Smash up.
Oh yeah, the Supra makes some real, real good noises. Let's go see. We're probably getting outbid. Now we're up at 103. We've doubled. I'm bidding. Place bid. Bid fuck off. What? Bid failed, man. Why? Why did it fail? Successful. We got a bid in. 126k. We're probably going to get outbid in seconds here. I don't really want that car anyway, so it's all good, but it's always it's always good to win a bid. You know the deal. Come on now. Never a bad thing. Never, never. Uh, what do we want to drive now, boys? Our own version of a Ram T-Rex. <laughs> I see you. I'm bidding, man. You know the d out bid. You just bid me out. God damn. I I got a trans. Look at that. That's that. There's your I rock right there. Basically, we got that Firebird Trans Am out here. He sees me. Why is everything on slicks all of a sudden? Flat foot shifting. There's my burnout. Here we go, here we go. Make sure we don't fall asleep on the tree here. And we're going to trap a uh, 153. Nice. I wish it gave you like real quarter mile ETs. There we have it though. This thing's kind of a monster. Runs out fourth gear in the quarter perfectly. <laughs> Bruh, I'ma lose, it's going up too high. You used to have three million credits, but I spent it. <laughs> My game crashed, I had to turn off the Xbox, and somebody bought it outright. That is absolutely savage. Oh my goodness. <laughs> That's rough. Maybe just grind out some races and unlock it naturally, even though I hate doing that. <laughs> let, let me verify this action. Let me make sure it's actually been scooped up. I, I need some verification here. Let me see. Auction house, my bids. Oh, fuck. He wasn't lying. Someone bought it out for almost $8.2 million. Now that is a tough break. Is there anything cool on the auction that we can afford to buy outright that would be cool? Aha! Uh -huh. 
20 million dollars for this junker. No thanks. Um, let's see. Maybe I should start an auction. We'll just search for anything, really. See what the auction house has for us today. A TT, a McLaren Senna. That buyout's pretty chill, honestly. 185k? I wonder how much it goes for. I don't need a McLaren Senna, though. That's no fun for me, really. An air-cooled Porsche. Very nice. What is that thing? That must be a European car, because I never seen one of those in my life. Audi S1. Um... Uh, Peugeot. Peugeot. A lot of Beamer IAs. Remember when these things came out and everyone was losing their mind about them? I still think they're ugly. Uh, Sesto Elemento with them Italian colors on, on it. Nissan Titan Warrior Concept. Okay, so we got a Ram T-Rex of the Nissan variety. That's what we got. Um, Continental. A 53 Vet. Some wild vinyl on it. Nismo GTR. Oh, shit. Oh, now that's something I'd spend $2 million on. Ooh, that's pretty nice. That's pretty nice, even though I got a bunch of Evos. Oh, shit. That's also something I'd spend 1.3 mil on. A Mugen CRX. Oh, shit, man. Oh, this too. is Shelby GT500. Actually, I'm going to go search and see if they got any of these. Shelby GT500, because I would be down to buy one of those. So is it under Ford in here? Or is it under Shelby? I don't know how Nissan does that. Oh, it, it would be under Shelby. Or would it be? Maybe it is under Ford. We'll, you know, we'll never know. We'll find out here in a sec. It is... Oh yeah, Shelby 1000 right there. Oh my... Eight million dollar car. Eight million dollar car right there. Why, why did that other one sell for so cheap? Holy shit, man. Eight million. I'm telling you, I'm not about to drop eight million. That's crazy. What? That is ridiculous. Why was that one so cheap on the auction house? Do you know how to make the front of your car go up? Yes, you go into tune, you go to suspension, and you raise the front of it. You go like that, like give it some rake? Is that what you're after? That Cali lean? Huh. Holy, look at this Firebird, 12.3 million. Looking on the auction house on the... Oh, that's pretty cool. V10 5.2 Quattro. Liberty Walk. Oh, Liberty Work. <laughs> Liberty Walk. 500 thou for a 240SX. That's how much they're going for in real life, too. <laughs> 808 for... Ooh. I'm buying it. I'm doing it. This is ours. We're about to spend $808,000 on this thing right here, right now. No, I'm not even doing that. I'm buying this shit. Yeah. Let's go. Take my money. Sign my life away. There we go. I'm down to 7.2 million. Let's collect. This thing's insane. Nice. Holy shit. 
Let's go hop in this thing and take her for a burn. This is one Nissan that I've been wanting for quite some time. Finally got it. The race car GTR. Where you at though? Right here. GTR LM. This shit is a straight up race car. Uh, first off, we're going to need designs and paint. Lock design, that's okay with me. I don't want somebody else's locked design anyhow. What up, Zool YT? What's good, my guy? What's good? Those fucking bead locks are atrocious. They look like fake plastic bead locks you'd put on an RC car. <laughs> Terrible. Uh, yeah. Let's see what kind of designs people got for this, because it's got to be something race car esque. Like that is what. Oh, dude. Oh, man. These shits are wild. I'm going to put this one on. Hot as fuck in this room, boys. I don't know how much longer I can last. I feel like I'm getting heat stroke just from sitting in here playing video games. Set up file locked. Well, I, I could care less. Oh, that dude put on those wheels? That's terribly atrocious. That's terrible. Uh, let's see how much her spur this thing's got out the gate. 300? It's a race car. That's not going to cut. It's twin turbo with 300 horse. What the hell? No, uh, that's not going to work for me here. If we don't hit over 500 horse, this thing is not cool. Oh, yeah, 420 horse just from turbos. Look at that. Sheesh, 910. Oh, yeah, this is well over a 1,000 horsepower car to the crank. Beautiful. I don't think I really need to change anything else. I mean, at the end of the day, it is a race car, isn't it? So I'm not going to put any race C4s and stuff on it. Let's go see how this thing feels, even though we don't got a sim wheel to feel it all. Holy hell, it's hot. Oh my goodness. Do you hear how this thing sounds? Well, how the hell did I get into photo mode there? What the hell? Did you hear how that thing sound? Credit award 10k. It is rear wheel drive. Oh, this thing does great burnouts. Oh, let's go. <laughs> Did y'all see that? That was crazy. This thing's got no grip. It's almost more fun like that though. Zoom, zoom, zoom.
Supra. <laughs> Got bodied because I didn't want to move. Oh my god, I just realized this thing revs to 10,000 RPMs. Jesus. To the moon. This must be Elon Musk built. This thing's a tire roaster. Come on, golf. What are you doing? I love that sound. Oh, look at this R look at this R32 and an FC up here. Hard. Yeah, this thing needs more grip in the rear for sure. Cruising with this FC right now. I keep trying to leave us in the dust though. <gasps> R33, it's my own family right here. We out here cruising. This thing is fun, guys. This thing is really fun. Well guys, I'm going to drive back to the festival and that's going to be all for me for tonight. First stream back in a minute on the Brash Media slash Daw Smokes YouTube channel. So thanks everyone for coming out and enjoying the stream with me. See if we can make it back to the festival in a couple pieces, if not one.
God, this thing is loads of fun. Well, on that note, boys, I'm going to call it for today. Thanks for coming and watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. We will see you boys back for more Forza Horizon very soon with a wheel simulator and a wheel simulator camera setup so you guys can see me session it on the wheel as well as the gameplay. But until then, everybody, this is what we got. Peace out. Thanks for watching. And subscribe for more.